What's going on everybody? Today's video, what are we talking about? We're talking about N64, but not programming. So I know you guys might be a little bit bummed about that for those of you that are keen on diving into doing code, but today I'm jumping back to a hardware demo. I haven't done that in a little while, so I thought, hey, it'd be cool to jump back and do one of the old uh, development game development hardware uh, demos for you guys to check out. So today's video, we're gonna be focusing on uh, an N64 development cartridge that was released by SN Systems back in the 90s. So this is the SN64. And this was an SRAM based development cartridge uh, that developers used and it had some really sophisticated debugging uh, software and tools in comparison to some of the other cartridges that were available at the time. So it was actually a really sought after development cart and a development kit, uh, the SN systems units. And so that's what I'm gonna be showing you guys today. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna load some data onto it. We're gonna load a ROM and maybe a test ROM, I'm show you guys a little bit of the debugging and maybe just load a game onto it and just check out and play a game on a piece of development equipment. I thought that would be cool. Something a little different than what I normally do, but it should be fun. So without further ado, let's get this video started. Here we go. So if you guys were following my Twitter uh, posts about this unit, yeah, I had a little bit of trouble getting it going and I was trying to get you know, a system running Windows 98 or Windows 95. I wasn't sure which to use. It recommended using Windows 98, 95, but I just wanted to see if I could do it using uh, an old laptop that had Windows 2000 on it. And the reason for that was because I chose to use a, a PCM CIA SCSI card uh, that this laptop uh, accommodated and I managed to get it up and going. I'm still having some trouble with uh, getting the debugging setup working, but I'm thinking there's just uh, you know a couple of things I have to change, but I'm gonna try. So the system uses a SN uh, file server, and what that does, that's a piece of software that comes with the unit. It allows you to uh, load drivers and communicate and set up the drivers with the SCSI unit uh, over the SCSI bus and fire back some sort of basic uh, communication protocols, initialization commands to make sure that there's communication happening. So that's what this little file server does. So now what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna load up a sample ROM and project that came with the SN software. It's gonna demonstrate how you can have some embedded print commands, which will relay some debug messages running on the ROM and it will send that data over to the development PC. Before we run the SN file server, you have to make sure that the SN card is in the state that it needs to be in order to be initialized with the firmware. And that's just sort of like initial boot up process. And so you have to make sure that the cartridge is inserted in the N64, the console is off. The SN cartridge has a retail N64 cartridge inserted in the back and that's used for the CIC a security chip uh, connection. SCSI 2 interface is connected to the cartridge and into, onto the development PC. And then finally, you have to power up the cartridge with its DC power source, and that will initialize the cartridge into sort of like a uh, uh, an initialization mode where it's ready to receive uh, its firmware being uploaded. And on the SN cartridge, that is indicated by having the green LED on the top uh, is on constant and the red LED on the bottom is in a state where it's flashing. And so that's telling you that it's now ready to receive its firmware in order to be used and communicate over SCSI. And so when your hardware is in that mode where you're ready to receive the firmware, you can go ahead and start the SN file server. So we'll go ahead and do that. So we go to all programs here and, oh, my mouse is going crazy. And so we move over to the SN debugger folder and we 
go over and select SN file server. So there's other uh, programs here that you can use, the debugger, a tutorial, uh, some documentation, uh, and some other hardware checks for the system. But um, today I'm pretty much, I'm just gonna be going over uh, uploading of the firmware to get it initialized, and then we'll upload a ROM to, and I'll sort of sample some of the basic debugging aspects that it has. But uh, in terms of actual actually using the full-blown debugger, uh, in the source code, uh, that'll be for part two of this video. Uh, but for today, I'm just going to be showing you guys how it actually, how you can actually upload a ROM to it and, and have that run. So, uh, in order for us to upload the SN firmware, uh, we choose SN file server. And as you can see right away, it goes in and it detects the uh, SCSI ID of the hardware. And that's the uh, SN uh, SCSI processor that's embedded inside the SN cartridge. So the SCSI interface will communicate with that. And then once it's connected, it sets up an, a message server and a file server, and then it runs through and uploads the firmware. And so now at this point, we can run this command here. And if we go ping, which we're gonna just try to connect with it, uh, you'll see that it bounces back and lets you know that the firmware was detected, which is version 1.10. And uh, right now the system is in an offline state. So we're ready to upload a ROM to this sucker. So uh, let's go over to our tools and we choose uploader. Now this little plugin, this little uh, GUI interface uh, is just a very basic uh, tool that allows us to transfer uh, ROM information to and from the SRAM on the SN cartridge. And so if we were to choose upload image target to host, that's where we're actually uh, downloading the information that's currently stored in the cartridge SRAM memory. And we can download that to the uh, development PC, the host and analyze that for whatever reason. So if you need to analyze some of the data after a game is run, you have the ability to do that. But for today, what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna uh, download an image to the target and uh, that is the SN cartridge. And so now there's a drop down menu here that allows you to select the address uh, location for where you wanna upload. Uh, in this case, we're just gonna go with the first one on the list, uh, which will allow us to boot a ROM. And so now we go ahead and say browse. And what we're actually gonna do, I'm just gonna show you some of the quick debugging for sending data to and from the message server, the file server that's running. And so in this case, this is a little sample program that comes with the SN software. And we're just gonna run the test bin. This is a compiled uh, ROM that was made and what it's doing there uh, is uh, it's going to loop through a little uh, a, a, a little for loop and actually send a series of, of 10 different messages like hello world and it's just running through that in a loop over and over again 10 times and we're going to take a look at the uh, source code for that the source code file which is very small and I'll show you guys how that information is sent from the cartridge over the SCSI interface to the development PC for us to analyze while the game is running. So we'll go ahead and upload this. And so now that it's loaded, it's ready to upload. We say OK. And that quickly transfers to the SN cartridge SRAM and now it's ready to go. So if we go and open up the source code file, the C file for this. So in this case, we're gonna use the uh, IDE, and that is SN Systems Pro DG IDE. And we'll go ahead and open up the test.c, which is the source code for this project. And right away, you'll notice uh, that this, the boot uh, function, which is the first function that's run, uh, you'll notice that we have an initialize, an OS initialize, and we have init debug, which is run. And now that's what's setting up the uh, debug functions for us to uh, communicate back and forth between the uh, development PC and the SN cartridge. So that's going to allow us to send some messages to and from. And so we also have a break function here. 
uh, a break point, uh, but I'm not gonna go over that today. I'll be, that'll be for another uh, video, that'll be in part two. But as you can see here, we've got this little for loop that's cycling through 10 times. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna write, we have this command PC write, which is just gonna type out the message, hello world, uh, from the game that's running on the cartridge uh, over the SCSI interface to the development PC uh, for us to analyze. So as you can see, when you're running a game and you're trying to debug things, this is a way that you can send a message. So when the game reaches a certain point in your code, uh, you can send a message to the development PC to let you know that that area of the game has been reached. And it's just a quick way to get some feedback while the game is running. And this is actually quite similar to a lot of the uh, development cartridges that are out there. Uh, for many systems, and uh, like the Partner N64, the Intelligent Systems Viewer 64, the Code Warrior uh, hardware, uh, there's a lot of them that do this. And it's just a, a simple way for you to get some feedback and uh, receive debug messages. So we're going to run through this and I'll show you guys how that works. So on the file server, we're going to actually start up the N64. So as you can see, the file server is running and which, what that means is that it's ready to receive messages uh, from the source code or from the game that's running on the SN64 cartridge. And so in this case, we have the for loop that's cycling through 10 times to write this message, hello world. And if we were to go and select ping to give us a feedback uh, on the state of the N64, you'll still see that it is offline. Now, if we boot up the N64, turn on the power for that, and then we run that command again, you'll see that it's stating that it's now, it's not offline, but it's uh, it, it's in a dead state, which means that it has not uh, started to run the program. So now if we go ahead and hit start here, you'll see that it has executed the program and we have 10 uh, different messages here where it's written hello world onto the screen exactly as it's stated here uh, in the source code file. So that, that's pretty much it. There's no graphics information on this, so we don't. There's nothing to display on the on the uh, output of the N64 to the monitor. Uh, but however, it was just to show you guys this uh, debugging aspect. And so again, this information here has been received over the SCSI interface uh, from the ROM that was compiled from this source code file here and was transferred from the SRAM uh, memory where it was running on the SN development cartridge. And that information was transferred back uh, to the development PC here on this file server that was running. So it's pretty cool. This is a pretty common thing to have these debug messages routed through. Uh, it's one of the basic uh, functions that these, pr these cartridges provide. So now again, the SN64 has some pretty sophisticated uh, real-time debugging uh, features where you can actually insert breakpoints, uh, as you can see here, um, and uh, cycle through those in real time as the code is executing, and the system will show you where in your source code uh, execution is occurring. And also, you're able to analyze memory, uh, you know, different registers of the data. Uh, but anyway, again, that'll be in a future video. Uh, that'll be in a part two for this that I'll demonstrate those features. So that's pretty much it. I just wanted to quickly show you guys that. And now I think it would be cool if we uh, test out an actual retail uh, ROM on this uh, development cartridge. I think that would be kind of cool. So let's go over here to our uploader. And I've got a particular uh, ROM that we're going to test here today for you guys. So let's check this out. Here we go. Okay, so it reset, and here we go. So I figured uh, Wave Race would be a, a wise choice to take for us to test out. Now, I haven't played this game in years, so bear with me. So maybe we'll do a stunt mode here, just for a trial. Might have to try it a couple of times to get used to things. I haven't played this in a long time, so again, Bear with me here, I'll just take the normal settings. Select oh, this course. is crazy, I haven't played this in so long. Dolphin Park. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, oh well, yeah. Uh, there was like ways to do flips and whatnot. I, you guys are probably gonna be like, Jerry, you suck. You suck so bad. It's been years. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, there we go. There we go. It's coming back. There's like a sign winder. Yeah, nice. It's not too bad for them to play it well. Okay, there we go. I don't know, it's been probably like 10 years since I've played this at least. Nice. Well, that's not too bad for the first try. <laughs> uh, oh my god, this is wild. Dolphin Park. Okay, I'll try one more. I'll throw my name in here. This is pretty cool. I haven't done this in so long. You guys know me, I'm not a gamer as much, but uh, I love the code. I love messing with that. But uh, this is still pretty cool, it's nostalgic. Okay, I'll try it one more time, see if I can beat my score. <laughs> oh no! Missing all the rings. Oh yeah, oh god. Oh. <laughs> oh, Jerry. No. Do flips, but you suck at. Do oh, this is just god awful. <laughs> My first round was way better. Oh, and I don't even make it. <laughs> oh man. Yep. Well, that's that. I need more practice. <laughs> So that's today's video guys. That is the SN Systems SN64 development cartridge for the Nintendo 64. As always guys, thanks so much for watching. Hit the like and subscribe if you guys can. It's always appreciated. And we'll see you in the next video. So take it easy. Ciao.